Hello YouTube, my name is Froilan and welcome to another episode of Lifestyle and Stickers. Today we're going to take a look at the one of my favorite uh, releases for this year, the Nike Martin Rose Air Monarch 4. So stick around. Before we continue, let me just tell you the reasons on why you should watch our videos and subscribe to our channel. First, we do a lot of unboxing and reviews. Mostly sneakers, but we'll try to do other stuff as well. Second, we visit a lot of sneaker shops and outlets. Third, we have new segments coming up, so watch out for those. And the fourth one, we do a lot of giveaways. And right now, now we'll be releasing some new mechanics for our Epic Air Jordan giveaway. So stay tuned for that as well. When the Nike Martin Rose Air Monarch 4 released this year, uh, it has uh, many people has mixed emotions, mostly negative. Uh, I don't think the reception is uh, really good, uh, good for this uh, release. But anyway, uh, I liked it and I got it. I recently got them for for myself. So uh, let's go. Yeah, yeah, pick it up. So uh, here it is, so right off the bat, uh, you can see that it's uh, the silhouette is very different. Uh, I think the black one uh, is the best colorway for this pack. They actually really street. The first one is the, the OG colorway, white uh, and navy uh, with silver. The second colorway is this all black one. And the third one is the old pink one. So. Uh, so this is my favorite uh, out of all the three. Uh, first, let's look at the, the shape. So as you can see, the shape is very different. Okay, the idea behind this shape is uh, Martin Rose uh, observing how uh, uh, shoes of athletes deform over time. And this is her interpretation of it. So actually they, they, uh, the first time they ex uh, experimented on this one is uh, they, uh, they put a, a size 18 upper on a size 9 uh, midsole. So that's how they, uh, uh, they come up, came up with this uh, form, uh, with this uh, shape. So anyway, there's a, a lot of uh, bulging and lumps. So, as you can see, anyway, uh, they, the, the method they constructed this is uh, the same uh, method they, construct, uh, they constructed uh, the air composite. So, there's actually a stiff foam inside, just like the foam post. And they use a synthetic material because I think natural leather, won't, uh, you won't be able to do this to a uh, natural leather. They, it won't be that malleable. So uh, uh, let's look at the materials. Uh, first, on this black pair, uh, they use a, a, a synthetic material with a patent finish that slightly has a matte look. So it's uh, it's hard, very hard to describe. It's shiny, but it's also matte uh, at the same time. So so that's it. So anyway. Uh, you have the standard uh, Air Monarch for uh, uh, detailing, uh, the toe box, the lateral medial side, the heel, except for the bulges. And you have the Martin signature here on the checks, on the swoosh, on both sides. Then uh, you have the midsole, uh, just like any other Air Monarch, it's a full length uh, air unit. I don't know if it's, if it's uh, really true, but uh, that's the, uh, that's what they claimed it is. And uh, the same outsole from the Air Monarch, uh, just all back. So there. And 
the insole is colored pink. So that's it. So that's it for the for the materials and for the shape. So, uh, why do I like this shoe? Uh, personally, I really don't like uh, um, all black sneaker. Uh, it gives me a, uh, a schoolboy or uniform kind of vibe. So, uh, it doesn't stand, stand out. Uh, but for some silhouettes that's very uh, different, it will work. Because uh, if you look from afar, it's gonna be just a normal, uh, all black sneaker. Maybe you can recognize that, that this, these ones are uh, Monarch Force. But when you go closer, when you look up close, you're gonna see that it's very different. Uh, it gives you uh, so it gives you a very unique uh, unique look. Uh, very avant-garde. So British designers are known for uh, being avant-garde. So this one is. Uh, will give you that uh, vibe so I think that the construction the way they did this is uh, very good they executed the construction really well uh, I'm not sure if you can use a natural leather for this kind of uh, construction but uh, I think that's the why they chose to use uh, uh, synthetic leather and I'm not sure if this uh, this upper will last long because for sure the natural leather will last a very long time and uh, the synthetic upper here might be cracking some all over the place when you got to when I get to beat them up so uh, anyway I hope it lasts long but uh, for me it's a uh, it's a very good uh, very good pickup also uh, for comfort and fit since it has a full and air and uh, it's uh, uh, padded well. It, once you wear, you wear it, it, it will feel very uh, comfortable. But the upper is very stiff, so it's really uh, it will take you time to get used to that feeling. But uh, if, especially if you're uh, if you're used to wearing uh, like knitted upper, like Yeezys and Ultra Boost and uh, uh, flying it so that will uh, be a different uh, be a difference from uh, what you're used to because the upper is like uh, like you're wearing a foam pose so it's very stiff it's not that uh, flexible and also it's not breathable so there's no vent holes and it's all sealed up so it's gonna be hot and it's gonna be like it's gonna be stiff but the, the midsole is comfortable so anyway uh, there you go most people uh, don't like this one but for me it's very uh, very good I like it a lot and I'll, I'll be wearing it a lot uh, especially this is a very wearable uh, color the silhouette is not like the silhouette is very out there but the color uh, that what balance balances uh, it out so the the plain color with the very outrageous uh, uh, upper so I think it's gonna be like very wearable as well so anyway uh, most people don't like this shoe and it retail for 200 US dollars so what that also made them like really uh, iffy about it because the original Walmart is, will cost you like uh, uh, 50 US dollars 50 60 US dollars but uh, this one's cost uh, 200 US dollars, so that's why it, most people didn't uh, get their pair. And actually, that's a good thing for me, for someone who who likes the shoe, because I got this for a really, really uh, good price at uh, one of the websites that uh, carries them. And yeah, there's a lot of there's still a lot of sizes available, especially for the black pair. The white and navy pair, uh, 
there's very limited sizing available only the big ones are available and the pink pair is sold out already so you like this video and if you do please press a thumbs up button down below and if you haven't subscribed to our channel please press a subscribe button also please uh, like us on Facebook follow us on Instagram and Twitter again my name is Froyland until next time